Good morning, first graders. Happy Tuesday, okay? Whatever we do today, you need to upload to your teachers, okay? Using portfolio, sending in a message, whatever way you and your teacher have talked about it, okay? You need to make sure that you submit this today. So before we even read a book, before we do anything, I need you to get out your handy dandy notebook and open to the brand new page for me. Go ahead and hit pause if you need to grab your notebook. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna write your name right at the top and you're gonna write the date which is the 14th, okay? And you're gonna write day two, right at the top, okay? Hit pause if you need more time, okay? Then what I want you to do is I want you to flip it like this, okay? Flip it horizontally so the lines are going the wrong way, okay? And at the top, over here, you're gonna be creating a chart. I want you to draw two lines. So I'm gonna draw one line right here, See how I drew one line? And I'm gonna draw another line right here, okay? It makes a chart, okay? You should have three separate parts. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna draw a K at the top of the first one, a W in the middle, and an L in that order, okay? We're gonna be filling this out today and tomorrow. This is called a KWL chart. Do you guys know what that means? Have you done any of these before? Raise your hand if you've done a KWL chart before. Awesome. So can you tell me what it is? Cool. So the K means what I know about the topic we're talking about. So we're going to be talking about plants. Okay, so we're going to do this together. Hold on one second. So the K is what you know. Do you know what the W means? Good, what you want to know, awesome. And can you take any guess of what the L means? Good, L means what you learned. Okay, so we're not gonna do the L until after we read our book. But first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the K column, okay? If you need a second to finish doing that, creating your chart, go ahead and just hit pause. Okay, so what are some things that you already know about plants? Just start shouting them out to me. I want to hear them all. I heard that they are different colors and sizes. Good. There's different types. Good. What else? They need water. Good. What else do they need? Water and sun. Awesome. What do plants grow in? Most plants grow in soil. So we can write that, grow in soil or the ground. Good job. Okay, that's four things. Can you guys come up with anything else? If you got something different than I didn't write here, go ahead and write them, okay? Pause the video, take a few minutes, write everything you know about plants. Okay, we're going to go on now to the W column. So you see how I wrote those right under the K? Now we're going to write them right here in the middle, okay, under the W. Okay, so under the W is what I want to know. So what do, I'm going to think to myself, what are some things I want to know about plants? Hmm. One thing I want to know is how long does it take to grow? That's an awesome question. What are some other things you wonder? Start shouting them out, start making a list. I've heard some awesome ideas. Okay, keep going. So how long does it take to grow? Um, are all plants grown the same? Good job, keep going, fill out that W column. You don't need to have too much, but have some ideas that your things you're wondering about with plants, okay? Pause the video, take a few minutes, do what you gotta do to finish that question. Okay, so what we're gonna do today is we wanna fill out that L column. We wanna see if we can fill out anything that we've learned from our reading today. So we're gonna read this story called What Do Roots, Stems, Leaves, and Flowers Do? Okay, so who thinks 
me know what type of book is this. Is it fiction or nonfiction? Yell it nice and loud. Good. It's nonfiction. Okay, so we're going to be using this book next week also. So I am just going to start reading about halfway through the book. Okay, so we're going to start right here. Oh, look at how pretty that picture is. That's a real illustration, right? Okay, fall leaves. Trees need their leaves for making food. So why do many leaves drop, trees drop their leaves in the fall? Hmm, did any of you wonder that? Awesome. So we're going to find out the answer to that question. During winter, the days are short with few hours of sunlight. There is often less rain in the winter, too, and water in the soil may freeze. With little sunlight and water available, a tree's leaves cannot make enough food to feed the tree. Growing and keeping leaves healthy uses a lot of energy, too. So in readiness for the tough winter months, many trees drop their leaves in the fall. The tree then stops growing and rests until spring to save energy. In the fall, many tree leaves turn brown, red, or yellow. This is because the tree stops making food, so they also stop making green chlorophyll. This allows the tree's leaves to make other colors, which are normally hidden by the green. We learned a lot in there. This is stuff I didn't even know. Evergreen trees. So what kind of trees are they talking about when they say evergreen? Good, like pine trees. The leaves of many different, or leaves of many types of coniferous or evergreen trees look like thin green needles. Just like on other plants, however, each needle is able to use sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide to make food for the tree. Evergreen trees often live in tough habitats where sunlight and water are in short supply all year round. So these trees don't drop all their leaves in the fall. Instead, they lose and regrow many quantities of leaves all year long. Having leaves all year allows a evergreen tree to make food whenever they get the chance. Also growing a whole new set of leaves each spring uses up a lot of energy. So evergreen trees keep their leaves and save their energy. So that's what the needles look like if you've had a Christmas tree. That's what it looks like. Each pine, thin pine needle is shown here in the leaf. Look at how small they are. That's crazy. Evergreen trees growing in a tough, cold habitat. Look at how they're thriving in the winter. All right, so what we're going to do is we are going to in our chart, I want you to write some things that you learned about the leaves on some trees. So one thing I learned is that trees stop growing in the winter. I never knew that, okay? Evergreen trees Lose leaves, lose needles all year round, and they just keep regrowing, right? Isn't that cool? Okay, I want you to take a few more minutes to finish your chart, okay? I want you to think about what are some things that you learned about the leaves on trees that we just read about and put it in your L. You're gonna take a picture of this and you're gonna upload it right to your teacher so that they can read it, okay? They wanna know what you learned or what you know or what you want to know about plants while we're doing this cool unit. Okay, you guys are doing a great job, so keep it up.